Hey, it's Chris from the Blockade Pinball Podcast doing my top five tables that I always recommend to people that are new to Pinball FX3. Today we are doing table number, pack number four. Uh, table pack number four is... It's called the Legends and Carnivals, or Carnivals and Legends pack. It only has two tables in it. This is what introduced when uh, FX3 came out. This was the first table pack of Zen Originals that Zen did for this. And of the two, you have one table called Adventureland, one table called Son of Zeus. Honestly, it's, it's a toss-up as to which one um, is better, because they both show off different good aspects of what Zen does. Son of Zeus does a fantastic job of lighting with environmental effects. Uh, Adventureland really shows off the crazy <laughs> that Zen can do. So for that reason, I'm going to actually select Adventureland today uh, for our 10-minute preview. And then don't worry, we will also pop in and do Son of Zeus for a little bit. Welcome to Adventureland. So this is definitely more lighthearted, um, kid-friendly, family-friendly table, if you will. However, it has a bazillion things going on on it. And is actually a little bit confusing to play. So let's go ahead and get in there. Let's start that timer for 10 minutes and uh, see where we go. It does have a skill shot, but it's really difficult to hit. <laughs> so you can see there's a bazillion things going on in this. And this is one of those things that people love about Zen Originals, though, is the whole fantasy element of pinball with all the activity. So I think this is an excellent table to show that off. So you got all your little rides all over the place that you have to light. That sky going. And then there's a ticket booth up near the center top. Really Light the ticket booth. Okay. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Leave us light the ticket booth and then you can actually start uh, loading some of the rides. Alright, see if we can hit that. Nope. Skill shot, it's over there on the uh, on the right hand side. It's hitting that what I just hit there, that kettle uh, stand up. As usual when I play these things for you guys, I'm having a just amazing game, aren't I? <laughs> There we go. Now we can just get in there. Oh, and it bowled us out on ball three, right? Am I right? Yep. All right, let's do that again. Because I like the mechanism, the mechanism of the sky eye. When I say there's a lot going on on this table, there's even a uh, a bit on the back box, which I don't know if it'll let me show you or not. Nope. The sky eye is ready to fly. The coasters are extended. And then you just launch the ball and captures it's gonna do a uh, four ball capture eventually. Oh, 
Oh. I mean, you can tell with the full-on looping uh, roller coaster there along the edge, the, the cabinet depth of this table would be insane <laughs> to be able to accommodate all that. Oh. I watched that dribble down. I was expecting it to... Expecting it to bounce. Let's see if we can get the vertigo lit, too. It didn't come around. The twin loop is available! Hurry! We still have some empty seats! Bummer! I'll tell you what, we spent some time on this, and I'm having a bad uh, go of it. Why don't I go ahead and just show you Son of Zeus? We've got five minutes on their timer, so I'm gonna give us a little bit more time, and we can stay with this a little bit longer if need be, too. I am the most powerful mortal in this world! against the dangerous hydra. I think I hear wings. Wings hydra is for breakfast, witch! Uh -oh. I almost feel sorry for you. So this too also does, obviously, it's got some uh, craziness going on. That spinner I actually will... Suffer. ...rise. Got a lower play field. Got that upper play field. It's got a lot of stuff going on on this one. I bothered aiming. I could actually show you a thing or two. Fear not, stranger. The gods will send you another. I will make you suffer. Sinkhole there, oops. We got the snake ramp. We got the spinner. You know, Hercules, I always wanted a nice statue of you. I want you as a statue. I fear no reptiles. What? What statue? Do it with my bare hands. Ordinary pigeons. I can see that. They do make Hercules sound like he's a bit of a dolt. <laughs> what a great observer you are. Got some drop targets. And how about this little I mean it literally has just a bit of everything on this thing. Luck escaping the underworld, Hercules. See you never. <laughs> I hope that guy won't rouse the fortune. my aim, stranger. These are the Cephalian birds. So now you gotta hit the shots that correspond to the birdies to strike them down. This is the, uh, oh. Hercules is the exact same voice that's in, uh, Epic Quest, I believe. Uh, 
Oh, nope, didn't get it, did I? Uh, let's start multi ball. Why not? Just so we can see one. No idea what I'm supposed to be going for here. I'm just going for flashy things. Oh, I got four ball multi ball. We have to make it in time. Olympian jackpot. Cerberus. Marines, pull your pest back to where they belong. I can use some help. Put a ball down to the lower playfield, but I think because I'm in multi ball. Oh, oh, here we go. Yeah, there. See, now I got the lower playfield going on. I got the upper playfield going on. I mean, <laughs> it's a bit much to try and keep track of. Alright. Timer is up on this, but we're going to play this just a little bit more. Just because things are kind of. Rocking and rolling. So I don't know. It's a, like I say, it's a question. Is it's a toss-up? Uh, oh, and both of them down there. It's a toss-up as to which I like better. Um, do I like this or do I like Adventureland? Um, Adventureland feels more like traditional pinball, I guess. Um, whereas this table is more, I mean, you can see how long that can keep the balls going on. This is more of the you, marathon sessions. I would love to show you guys again, you the rain sequence, mortal. but the game is over, stranger. we're going to call it time. there. So, there you have it. That's uh, Carnival and Legends. And, again, I really like that because it is... Especially the Hercules one shows you absolutely everything. I mean, you, between multi-ball spinners, uh, the, the, the disc that spins, you know, you've got your, your snake ramp, you've got drop targets, you've got upper playfield, lower playfield. It's like the entire kitchen sink just thrown in one. Um, and plus it's got some fantastic elemental effects that happen. Uh, there's uh, one part where there's a storm hits, and it's just amazing. Adventureland, though, is... Uh, it's still got a lot of crazy going on it, but it's also just got more of the typical pinball feel. Like, even though there's uh, all sorts of nutso mechanics going on, and I didn't even come close to showing you there's a whole back box element um, with lining up spinners and stuff. It's not with you flipping the ball, but it's an interactive back box. And I think it's just th these two tables, again, they did that because they were introducing FX3. And these this was the table pack that uh, introduced it. So on that aspect, it doesn't get much better for what, what Zen can do and uh, show off. So that's why Carnivals and Legends pack number four that I uh, or number four in my ranking of top five packs to recommend to people. All right, going up next time, my number three pick. Till then, bye bye.